What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas tutorial for you. This is going to be in Vegas Pro 16 and it's how to get the highest quality MP4 video render settings and to render the best quality MP4 you possibly can. It's pretty easy and I'm going to be explaining why and how right now. So I have already recorded a clip of myself 10 seconds long 4k 24 frames a second or 23.9 you know the American way and it is pretty high quality it's with my Lumix G7 DSLR so I've dragged the clip into my timeline and what we want to do is select the whole thing and if we go up to file and then we go to render as make sure your filters are off and then in this search bar type mp4 and that's going to filter out all the formats that will render in mp4 there's a few to choose from and I'm going to explain a couple of them. So since this program was first owned by Sony and then bought by Magix, Sony had some codecs that they made and they're the AVC codecs. Without going into too much detail, it's H.264 codec and it's the most common one, playable by most everything. And so when Magix bought Vegas from Sony, they created their own codecs and improved them a little bit. So I like to use Magix AVC AAC. You see I already got a couple made down here, but I'm not going to go into those, I'll show you exactly what I chose. So since I know my video is in 4K, I'm going to choose 4K, it doesn't matter which frame rate. This may look a little different to you on yours, but I have a GTX 1060 graphics card and I use that to do hardware accelerated rendering. And so you may not see NVIDIA NVENC, you may see an AMD or something like that if you have an AMD graphics card. So I'm just going to choose the blank one, 4K, 59 frames a second, and I'm going to customize template. So from here, this is where we're going to have to choose the specific settings. And so a little program I like, it is a video reader basically. It tells you all the details of a video file. So download it, you know, Windows or Mac OS. I, I did the portable version right here with the GUI so I didn't have to install anything. And then once you've done that, load it up. And it looks like this. It's pretty simple too. All you have to do is drag and drop your video clip into there so this is my raw video clip I took on my Lumix I'm dragging and dropping it in here and let me click this little arrow to the right and hit tree and that's gonna show us all this video info this is what my camera records now you can also right click on the video file itself and hit properties to see what kind of details you're recording as well um, and that's what you want to do if you don't want to download this program right click hit properties and you'll see mostly what you need so for mine some key things to point out is it's AVC, meaning it's H.264, so it's very compatible to watch on just about anything. The bitrate mode is variable. The bitrate is 93.6. The max bitrate's 100 megabits, almost 106. Width, height, it is 4K. So it tells you a ton of stuff, and we're just gonna match what we got here. So the bitrate right here is 93.6. Now that's what we want to do our average bitrate at 93.6. We can do 94 to make it easy, but going above that makes no difference at all. It's like taking a 720p video, putting it in Vegas and rendering it in 4K. It's not going to improve the quality, but it'll say it's 4K. So we're going to be putting it as close as possible. So we know the average bitrate's 93.6. We need to put the maximum first, so 106. That's what I'm going to put right here, 106. And then here, I'm going to put 94. So that's my bitrate. Profile, you can keep it default. Field order, you can't change that. That's progressive scan. Number of slices all default in code mode. Here's the thing too down here. The main concept ABC is basically your processor. Whatever processor you have, that's going to render it. Now if you have a graphics card, like I do, if it's a GTX or an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll see the NVIDIA encoder. If you have an AMD graphics card, you're going to see AMD encoder down here. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's clearly AMD encoder down there. So if you do main concept ABC processor, then you can save it up here at top, but I already saved it as my Lumix G7 right here. It's very close to the same thing. Average, we could do 94 bit, right? Save. That was, yep, almost 94, so bam. That's what we're going to do. So we hit OK, and then we render this as temp1 just to show you. So then we hit render, and this is going to be rendering it. So remember, th again, this is on the processor, so I'm not using my graphics card. And I have a Risen 1800X processor, eight cores, real nice, I think. You know, it's not the latest and greatest, but I got it a couple years ago, and it's an awesome one. So I'm just showing you how long it takes to render on the processor, and then we're gonna compare it to another one. Okay, so it just finished, and it took 51 seconds. I'm gonna close that, I'm gonna do File, Render As, 
and then I'm going to go down to my Lumix G7 in VNC, click customize, and then I'm just gonna change that average down just to be true to my word, 94. And then I'm using the NVIDIA encoder, so yours may say AMD, so click on that. Preset, I like high quality. And then VBR, since it is a variable bitrate, I do VBR high quality. Now this ensures that it is the maximum quality possible and you are going to be rendering it with your graphics card if it's compatible. So once you're done with that, hit OK. And then I'm gonna do temp two and hit render. And you're gonna notice right off the bat, the GPU accelerated rendering is insanely faster. The other one took 51 seconds. This one took nine, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, five times faster. So I really recommend rendering with the GPU. Hit close, and now I'm going to minimize this, and I'm gonna close this one. Let's open up Media Info one more time. We have a blank one. So remember, temp one is the first one that we rendered with the processor. So we'll drag that in there. Let's open up Media Info again, and then I'm gonna drag the original one in here. And then I'm gonna open up Media Info one more time, and then I'm gonna drag temp two, which is the graphics card render. So that's there. So we have this one, this one, and this one. It's original, click the arrow, click tree, go down to video. This is the first render off the processor, tree, video. Third one, this tree, go down to video. Let's put them right beside each other. We have variable bitrate, stayed true to all of them. The regular bitrate is 93.6, the bitrate dropped a hair, a non-noticeable hair for the first one to 92.9, and the bitrate stayed at 96.9 for the graphics card rendering one. And then maximum bitrate, that stayed at 106 right there, and that disappeared entirely with the graphics card rendering, which that doesn't matter because it tells us our true bitrate right there at 96. And everything else stayed the same. Relatively, there may be a couple little differences like bits, pixel times frame, 4.71, 4.67, 4.87, they're all a little bit different. So a very negligible difference, but you can see it's five times faster rendering. So this could change around a little bit depending on your camera or depending on how you're recording your footage. So let's just say you have an Elgato capture card and you're recording game footage. Once you get that game footage file onto your desktop, check out the file properties and match them exactly in there and then that's gonna give you the highest quality possible. One more thing I wanna show you is another way of doing this. You can get some really high quality. If you go to File, Render, and Use Sony XAVC, which is basically Sony's version that's a little bit better than AVC. If you Google it, you can read up on it, but basically what it does is draw out the colors a little bit more. So you'll see it looks a little different, but it also still is extremely high quality. And if you go down to S Long, those are the ones you wanna choose. So S Long, 23 4k right there customized template you'll notice that you won't have many options to change that's why i like this one but i like the other one better because i can customize it a lot more and so with this one it's just going to render it at the highest quality possible but most of the time it's going to be at a higher bit rate than your video is even producing so you're basically wasting space and it's making your file size much bigger than it needs to be so you can use this one if you want if you just want to make it simple sony xabc s long the bottom ones and that's going to give you an mp4 format you can see down here and just go ahead and hit ok and you can render it that way or you can go with the magix avc and then customize your template and then go from there and make it the highest quality possible so that's going to wrap it up for this video if that helped you out be sure to throw a like and subscribe because that'll help me out and i'll see you guys in the next video